Greetings. Let's see what happens with this chessboard. This is a project I've done at home in vb.net. Basically, number of stages are how do you design a chessboard in the first place? What are you going to make it up from? I've actually used buttons in what probably was a VB6 control array. So I have 64 of these buttons. They are all individually addressable and the way the code works is that I cycle through from the start to the finish and I deal with them in that way. This is the classic thing of how many squares are there on a chessboard and I thought I'd do it in a visual way. The delay in the screen response is <laughs> adjustable so I can go down a bit and if I look at this you've obviously got 8 by 8 grid which gives you 64 now 64 1 by 1 squares so if we look at this and I press this one button what we get is each square on the chessboard highlighted one at a time. You can see the counter going up and hopefully when it gets to the end it will have the right number. It did when I tested it but you know you put it in front of the users Okay, that seems to have worked. So we have 64 one by one squares. The obvious thing is how many two by twos, three by threes, etc. So my screen delay is 300 milliseconds between each action. So two by two squares, we have this. You can see the grand total going up. <coughs> and there's 49, which I think is correct. Three by threes. It's difficult to stop this midway. Um, if you wanted to look at the construct on any one of these uh, numbers 4x4, four 5x5, four, five five, you'd have to sort of add to the speed adjustment to slow it down. 4x4s four cycling through quite quickly. 300 millisecond display is fast enough. 5x5s five five it gets a bit heavy here, you know, the screen response. 6x6s six sevens and eight what do you know there's only one of those which gives you the grand total at the bottom 204 so if anybody ever asks you how many squares are there on a chessboard you can quite confidently say well actually there are 204 and I bet you'll surprise them thank you this has been Peter Cates with a little vb.net example